Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome to the Spinner Rack, issue 17. We're going to cover San Diego Comic-Con announcements. As always, I'm your host, Brian Adams, joined by... Oh, shit, uh, Junior. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. With us this week, we have our guest, Carrie the Camera Guy. Say hello, Carrie. Hello, Carrie. And Johnny <laughs> Freeze. What's up? Counter Remix Champion. That's right. I'm the champ. out with the belt. That was awesome. That was hardcore. Thanks, bro. Means a lot coming from the Big B. So anyway. Why does that sound so fucking scripted, or is it just me? It's you. You're scripted. Whatever. Because <laughs> wrestling scripted. Because we wrote that shit down on a piece of paper and discussed it outside. You weren't here. We did it telepathically. Totally. I'm thinking the wrestling thing. Never I mind. ate Charles Xavier's brain. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, full circle, baby. Full yeah, circle. That was awesome. So anyway, San Diego Comic Con. Head us off, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> I am, man. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Uh, all right. San Diego, you know, a couple weeks ago now, and uh, some big announcements. I don't know if it was me. There's usually more. I felt like this year San Diego was more the announcement and not really anything physical there because usually every year when they announce something big they have something to go with it you know and it's just kind of like hey we're doing this hey we're doing that hey we're doing this as opposed to being like hey we're doing this there was there was some tangible stuff there some physical stuff not a lot though well, I, that's, well, that's what I mean. It's usually, like, almost every announcement has something attached to it, like something right. tangible. Right. It just seemed this year it was just more, you know, here's the announcement, or moving on, stupid. you know. Mm. So you're saying it sucked? Well, I, I'm not saying it Compared sucked. to previous years. I don't know. Hey, the, it just felt different. The news is always big, but sometimes it just feels half-hearted when there's not something. Like a good fun. example here. Superman Batman was announced, or World's Finest, whatever the fuck you want to call it. S- a f- uh, an example of it not being tangible was it was just the announcement. Whereas the, lo- the logo, yeah, all they showed was the logo. That was it. Which was the su- the new? I don't get it. It's the new Man of Steel logo with the 1966 Batman logo behind it. Did anybody else catch that? Adam West, Henry Cavill, boom, movie. I would so go to see that. <laughs> you would be wasting your ten That'd bucks. Be awesome. I would go see that. Henry Cavill would just be like, "Yo, dude, why does this say like?" Is that or it's like the Beware of the Batman? It kind of looks like uh, Frank Miller. Beware of the Miller. Batman fucking sucks. <laughs> but, I mean, it does. It's horrible. <laughs> I was thinking that on the drive over here. Because that's what you think about. It is. Red light. Ooh, Beware of the Batman sucks. Green light. Yeah, no, that's actually exactly how I'm going to tell these guys about a story having to be seven <laughs> years <ago. laughs> Um But no, an example of it being tangible would be like, hey, we're doing Superman Batman. Everybody cheers. Once the announcement's over, they're like, oh, yeah. And this guy's playing Batman. And the actor would, like, walk out on stage or some shit. Whereas they don't really have anything. Right. Yeah. It just felt like, okay, here's You've the got, announcement. What, and what do you have? You've got Zack Snyder, David Goyer, and... Henry Cavill, that's it. Cavill, yeah. and that's it. Well, didn't they say uh, Chris Nolan was uh, attached to There was no high? mention no, of Nolan. I could have sworn somebody no said something about Nolan. Nolan. None. So, Superman Batman's coming out in 2015. I'm going to go around, and I want you to tell me yay or nay, and why. Brian. Fuck you then, John. <laughs> I say yay because it was predicted in I Am Legend, and now it's real. If you guys watch yeah, it, yeah, that is true. It, they had a billboard of it. That is true. Well, I, am I would I wouldn't go as far as saying it was a prediction. It was a I Warner think. Brothers movie. So. I, yeah, I, I would just say it's kind of like a tease. Like here you go. I mean, come on, wasn't it kind of a predictable thing Superman, with all the superhero movies that they're doing that at some point in time you would get a Superman Batman movie? Superman Returns wasn't even out when I Am Legend movie. came out, was this it? This is a pretty stupid. Yeah. See. No. Duh. It's Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm just like, okay, single movie, okay, Justice League. What do I, the fans want? World's Finest? I, I find it funny, though, that they push Justice League back now. You see how they're filling it? They were like, oh, we want Justice League, and then all the movies. But now they're kind of like, oh, we're going to do this, this, and this, then Justice League. You know, like, it every announcement, announce Justice League gets pushed back. Yeah. yeah. Flash, that uh, right before. Diego, though, yeah, was it? It, yeah. It was a small announcement, though. They're like, we're going to do Superman, Batman, yay, 2015. Oh, and in 2016, we're going to do Flash, and 17 is Justice League. You know, it was like put on the uh, the back burner. So, how do you feel about? I'm indifferent. Carrie. After yeah. Superman, I'll wa- I'm gonna wait and see. You know, who are they gonna cast? You know, as Batman. You know, how are they gonna read? I'm still. That I still can't get over the fact that you didn't like Man of Steel. I just it didn't do it. Get out of the like fucking it. 30s, man. Didn't like it. You gotta roll with the times. Didn't like it. Okay, you are Superman. 
Okay, you just put this outfit on for the first time. You really have no experience doing what you're doing, and there's a fucking alien invasion didn't of like it. Earth. An alien invasion. Didn't, of didn't like it. And oh. no. hey, there's still aliens. <laughs> Fuck that. No, all them damn ships. Aliens. But yeah, they're super aliens. You're gonna tell me you wouldn't cross that line? Because I know that was one of the big pet peeves you had. I I didn't like the choice. I didn't like the choice with all the mythology that you have built up over what fifty years. Hey, I thought it was original. Like out of every single superhero, what's together? I mean, I'm right. Exactly. You got it. You kill the villain. Hold up. See, if we're gonna go back and yeah, have see? this conversation again, <laughs> He's gonna bring I don't have new fucking points. <laughs> Superman two, okay. He Superman did. fucking two. He killed fucking just... Zod. No, he, he, killed, he killed. Yes, he, these yes, powers always throws him into a fucking like. Down a cliff. Now they don't officially say he's dead, but right, come on, but come on. Like, he's, he's depowered and, and he falls out of cliff. Ice, he's fucked. He's still dead. Fucked. He's dead. Still don't like it. Done. Hey, still don't like it. Comic book movie. That means he'll be back to life. Probably. <laughs> hey, Zod too. Hey, when you see the Wolverine, they do that. Character dies, comes back later in the movie. Boom. For some reason, the Wolverine just does not catch my attention. Like I want to watch it, but it's not like. I've got to go after this recording hey, to go watch it. Post-credit you know I mean? scene to me was... I just, like I said, I just like the reviews podcast. I'm hearing about the Wolverine where it's like, well, it didn't suck as bad as the last one. I'm like, that's not a review. It still right. heard that. It was better than <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> you know. It's not saying much. <laughs> I, whatever. Um, okay, so you're in your wait and see. You're wait indifferent. See. You're excited for it. My issue is going to be, is it going to be <clears throat> World's Finest? These two guys are first meeting each other working out their differences and creating the partnership that we all know? Or is it going to be some hodgepodge Batman fucking versus Superman where Bats is going to rip out Kryptonite and whoop Superman's ass and put him in his place? It'll probably be a mixture of both. It'll yeah, probably be I can see that. The first time, beat the shit out because of him. Because when they did... And then obviously they will hint at Justice League. When they did the tease, did they not say, oh, go back to 1987's Dark Knight Returns with yeah, Batman says I would love to see that as like yeah. a sequel where like they build it it's up for the like first that. one they have a sequel and also no, no, the future let me ask because there's been some confusion here this world's we'll call it World's Finest is World's Finest the direct sequel to Man of Steel or is there still going to be a Man of Steel 2 because there's confusion on that if this is the sequel or if it's a separate thing see for me that's the wait and see thing if they announce like who's going to be the villain then I'll just be like okay no, then fine you know, it could be a Man of Steel 2. They haven't you know. clarified, so it's probably not. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, if they're calling it World's Finest, they could still do Man of Steel 2 if they want. Mm. Okay. Who knows? All right. Moving on. Walking Dead Season 4. They showed the trick. Damn, didn't even let me finish. Why this guy. What is up with that? For me, the whole zombies thing is past. It's, it's such it's a done. show. Mm. It's a good show. Zombies are very fucking... Passe. It's time to stop. Yeah. That was the word I was going to use. I didn't know if it was correct or not, so I didn't say it. Awesome. Very much so. Over, done. Give me gas. I'm waiting for Frankenstein. Talk is giving me gas, man. I'm waiting for Frankenstein to make it. Being nice. There we go. Get brought back. Where was the brought back vampires? Now brought back zombies. Oh, Frankenstein back. The walking Frankenstein. No. (laughs) But no, seriously. Okay. So, (coughs) good lord, I'm sorry. I must apologize for that one. So, you got it. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, for those obviously because this is not being filmed, for those that are wondering what is going on, I just farted. That motherfucker stinks. Brian covered his face up to look like Cobra Commander, and he shouted Cobra. There you go. <laughs> and Carrie just moved a little uh, closer <laughs> to John and away from me. And John just moved away from Carrie. You're making it weird for me, Carrie. I tried, John. Don't look him in the eye. But no, seriously, Walking Dead Season 4 is debuting in a few months. How do... Did you guys see the trailer for Walking Dead Season 4? No. No? Nope. No. Nope. So, okay, so you guys watched Episode 8 of Comics Remixed, but just the John and David fight, huh? Didn't watch the rest of the episode? Is that what I'm... I watched yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, there was... A, I don't remember anything about Walking Dead in The there. Walking Dead trailer's in there. You didn't put the trailer in there. It's in there? It's gotta be in there. Is it? Are you sure? I mean, that was one of the things that was blocked... But like they they told us we can upload the trailer or the video because that was in there. But we watched the episode, it. didn't watch the trailer. <clears throat> yeah. Now that I think about it, I think I've seen the trailer, but I don't think I saw it during the episode. But maybe I didn't. I just don't remember. Whatever. So anyway, breaking the okay. breaking the fourth wall. Look at me. Uh Walking Dead fourth season. Man, I'm I got my shows confused right now. A little bit. Favoritism. So okay, Walking Dead season four. John, you don't like Walking Dead. Nope. Why? Have you, have you, fan? Have you watched the show or just? I, tr- I tried watching it and I tried getting into it, 
I just, you know, for me, it's just something where if it's not animated, the real life comic book stuff doesn't do it for me. Are you a fan of the book? Nope. Are you a fan of the book? I actually like the series better than the book. I but I started on the series okay. and then I went back. So. Oh, okay, so you're you're a your introduction. I'm a convert. TV yes. First. Okay, right on. Obviously, you've read it. I think that might be the issue. I find that a lot of people <laughs> no pun intended. I find that a lot of people that don't like the show weren't initially comic readers. So I think a lot of people like me and you, Junior, that have read the comic book, we have a little more of a love for the material. So we're willing to let some things slide. Like I hear what John's saying, dude. Shit was dragged the fuck out, man. Oh yeah. The first season really didn't give you a lot. The second season, like honestly, did they have to drag the Sophia thing out? So fucking long. I didn't see the second season. Really? I saw the first season. The only thing of the second season I saw was the, like the last five minutes of, when, see, of the last episode. episode. I think it's, I think 16, it's awesome. 16 fucking episodes, Junior. Okay. 16 episodes dragging out Sophia. Dude, that's I'm sorry. Episode of Lost. It, it, it might have been like Sophia disappeared in the second or third episode of the second season. Don't quote me on it. I'm just. Spitball. And then they might have found her right towards the end. It's because they didn't have anything to write. Like for it, they have anything for and it. I appreciate them sticking Shane around because they did such fucking great things with Shane. Great shit. Him being like just fucking psychotic and great. I loved it. Well, the, the farm thing was pretty cool. Oh, it is. You know, did what? you read the comics? I read them afterwards. I read the first omnibus afterwards. Okay, okay so um, you read the first forty-eight issues, then. right? So, I, like I said, I got I got sucked into the show, went back, and I actually like the changes they've made in the show. I actually find that more right. So instead of them different. offing fucking, you know, right. him right away in what issue six, I think right. Carl kills Shane. I I, I appreciate. Like the I said, I, I like but I like the twist they've done with it. I think it's been very well written. It's it's good, but it's a slow burn. See now, what point does it become boring? Because for me, there's already 112 issues of The Walking Dead, and I'm tired of it. I As I too. get to the point, I am too. First of all, they still have not explained how all this started. Uh, it's 112 issues, and it, it seems like every story arc is the exact same thing. We beat whoever was trying to take us down. We survived. Let's move on. Oh look, there's another guy, just like the previous guy who wants to take what we have. Let's beat him and survive. And move on. But I think that's like, sort of that sort of well, the yeah, story. That, I mean, right, but it gets it's but boring they've after only a while. Done that twice, they've really only done that twice. But look how the long it's dragged and... out, man. <laughs> Stomach, dude. It's all good. Are you sure you ain't gotta take a shit? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. He already did. <clears throat> no, they <laughs> are. It's it's a lot of like. Uh, man, I forgot the word else. So so how does this relate to me? It's just drags. So how does this well, relate to the fourth preview? Because I haven't seen it. No, I'm just oh. brought it up. Um. But it does relate to the previous announcement of the, the world's finest because dun, 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 Goyer is directing an episode in season four. Okay, cool. Woo! Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. We'll see. <laughs> um, There's been a lot of good talent on that show. I'll say that, and a lot of good talent. Like I said, I think I think it's very well done, and and the fact that they don't stick to the comic. No, it's, it's a wonderful well thing done. that they don't stick from the comic because. I'd get bored and stop watching it. True. If it was verbatim the comic book, why the fuck would I want to watch it? I've already read it. Same reason Superman fans get pissed that they change things. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> you know, God. Uh, Avengers was, 2. Boy, oh, there was something I was going to fucking say and I can't think about it. Okay, fuck it. Moving on. Avengers, Avengers 2. 2. Age of Ultron. Boo! <laughs> As no, it's same title, <laughs> nothing yeah, to do with... Absolutely nothing to do with the shitty storyline. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not liking the title. I'm not liking the fact that they're going to say that Iron Man created fucking Ultron. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, that's, that's bogus. That doesn't make any sense. That's a slap in the face to Hank Pym, who we're going to go ahead and put out an Ant-Man fucking movie, but he's not going to... What the fuck is the point of that? Yeah. Like, I could understand if they're wanting to keep the budget down, but you're going to do an Ant-Man movie. Not with, Ant- with Hank Pym, though. No, it's going to be Scott Lang. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I read, they didn't want to have Hank Pym invent Ultron because let's face it that would mean that Hank Pym is smarter than Tony Stark and Tony Stark is currently like the Marvel UG tech genius or whatever who gives a yeah, shit no, it's, not. it's gonna downplay the, the Robert Down- it would be they said they're rebooting Fantastic Four and Reed Richards is smarter than Tony Stark but it's not in the Marvel U as of now if Marvel's still on the banner no one's gonna give a shit Marvel's Marvel. Hey, I don't make these fucking rules, man. Polished I'm just telling turd. you. It's still a turd. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it's a polished turd. No, I'm just saying, I'm not making these rules, man. Polished Basically what they said... <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. What they said was, if they put Hank Pym in it, the creative genius between Hank Pym and Tony Stark would make Robert Downey Jr.'s character, was what they said. Not Tony Stark. Robert Downey Jr.'s character look like a, re- a dropped-out high schooler. Uh, okay, after that last movie, Iron Man 3, who cares? 
<laughs> he he retired. Remember, he's not part yeah. of. Uh, he does. He's not Iron Man anymore. Who cares? Yeah. So fuck does that make sense? Yeah. He builds his suit so he doesn't have to do shit. Goes wrong. Well, oh. they were saying that the uh, the the AI that Tony Stark created in Iron Man three okay was is probably the like the, the seed the planet for Ultron. For Ultron. Yeah. Out of all the stories, you know. Super lame. Yeah. We'll see how it plays out. Super lame. I want to know how Thanos t- is going to tie into it. Because you can't fucking tease Thanos at the end of yeah, Avengers the and then that? throw him over in I Guardians. I don't think that's going to be for Avengers. I think that was... Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I think and that was strictly a teaser. And Guardians, the supposedly, the panel and the previews are that everyone says this thing's going to rock. They said everything they showed, I've read about they it they is supposed all the to be they great. All, all I want to say, I'm looking forward to seeing Guardians. But if Guardians creates a Nova, Nova Corpse movie and it does well, I'm going to be very fucking angry at DC and Warner <laughs> Brothers. Very fucking Well, but, the, but they're introducing the Nova Corps. <laughs> because, in my opinion, the Nova Corps is just a fucking... Green Lantern? Yeah, just, Green yeah Lantern totally. Lantern. It was just like, oh, we need a Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. Fucking Marvel, unoriginal cunts. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joe Casada. But then again, how long was it before Nova Corps and Nova was introduced after Green Lantern? That's years, years dude. Years, years. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They waited to the height of the popularity yeah. of Green Lantern to be like, fuck, we need to do that. Space Cops. That's all it is. Lame. I know Michael Rooker some, sitting somewhere thinking this will be my chance. This is going to be my movie. Well, After they got a great cast of Guardians. Mm, they, yeah, they really do. Batista. God, oh, it's going to be awesome. I, I'm going to see Batista. I'm not going to see Drax. Yeah. You know, I'll be like, that's that's <coughs> Star Lord. That's Rocket Rack. Oh, that's Batista. <laughs> that's Michael Rooker. And then that's uh, you know, <laughs> oh look at Thanos. That's how I see it. It's Vin Diesel. Yeah. Who are, did but they say who he's playing? Vin oh. Diesel's in uh, Avengers. Yeah, they still haven't said if exactly oh, really? who he's playing yet. Rumor though. was Vision. Yeah, that was the, ru- yeah, the rumor. Yeah, yeah that's, that's terrible. But you can't have yeah, Vision without Ultron. Reason, and I, I guess Hawkeye's getting a bigger role, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because Jeremy so Renner cried though. about him being so pathetically nothing in the first Avengers. How he was a villain most of the movie. Oh, well, you were in the fucking movie, bitch. <laughs> okay, so... Let's talk tie-ins real quick. Where do you see... Because what's going... Ga- Guardians is first, right? It's next year? Guardians is first. Well, okay. Thor. If you, Thor and then Guardians. Say, yeah. Yeah, no, Thor, Thor Cap, and then Guardians. Yeah. Because Cap is in April, isn't it? I, does anyone care about Thor? I just... Every I preview... Okay, every preview I see, it just looks like... I hey, I'm just interested because I Lord saw of the Rings, you know, meets yeah. Thor. I just... I, I, I don't I'm get it. I'm down with Thor. That's going to be awesome. Okay. He's down with hey, I just heard that they... I saw like a caption or something, and it says, Loki cuts off Thor's what? Leave it as it what it is. I want to see it just for that fucking guy, dude. What's his name? Tom Hiddleston? Yeah. Well, he's great. He's awesome. He should have been. I know a buddy of mine was like, why the fuck was that guy fucking Loki? He sucked. And I'm like, did we watch the same fucking movie? No, he was Because he was tremendous, dude. Like, the looks, just like, he just, man, he was awesome. Well, hey, wasn't he at... San Diego? Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. Yeah, as Loki. Was. Yeah, he was in he was, character. He was pushing it. And Cap sounds good. Cap, everything I'm seeing about it sounds hey. like it'll be fun. I'm excited for the Winter Soldier. <laughs> the first one sucked. It was, a, it was okay. It was, it was horrible. But it, it, it was it, like, hey, let's take all this Captain America history and try and make it fit in there. But With trading cards and him it was ne- It was necessary. Yeah. Was it really? You needed that movie to set up the rest. Come on, you can't just have, yeah. okay, here's Captain America. Yeah, I, I didn't like the route of how they did things with him, like selling war bonds and shit. Like shit that they really did. Like they used the character in the 40s to sell war bonds yeah. and shit. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah, that's so what but, it was cool. So but I, I just was like, come on. Just get to the fucking Nazis. It, shit. it shows that the progression that he the was. The Nazis were all even. No, he was meant as like a joke, and then mm-hmm. like he instilled the fighting spirit. Like, I, I understand that the whole idea was like to protect Captain America because he was special, but Merka. Merka. I want to see the title of that comic change to Captain Merka. Captain Apostrophe America. <laughs> that's right. No, Mur. Merka. Oh, M R M U R. Yeah, exactly. Merka. Merka. We so. the people. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you really want to get on that subject? How is Antonio Cesaro an American? But whatever. You got his green card, bitch. That's that's for another. Uh... So is Drew McIntyre. Look at that guy. Hey, anyway, I'm not talking about that. Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Is this gonna okay? I keep hearing all kinds of bits and pieces. Is this going to be cool? Or is this going to be a complete clusterfuck? Because every time I keep hearing things, that like, remains to be you know, seen. I'm like, I'm like, they are just they have a great storyline. Why do you start dicking with it? I want to be excited for it, but at the same time, ahead. that's the way I feel about Wolverine right now. Hey, if you guys see the Wolverine, the post credit scene. Oh my God! Shut up with it the post credit scene. Into it, dear God. Yeah, he's really. Dude, wait, you obviously saw. I was like, yeah. did you see it? Like, obviously, he's like the post script. Obviously, fucking saw it, dumbass. I'm going to berate myself and doing your job now. 
Oh. <laughs> Makes it easier on me, I suppose. <laughs> Bishop, the guy playing Bishop, dude, like, Dead on. on the show. Awesome. Yeah. You brought, awesome. Like, once again, Bishop was not in the, the original story, so I'm curious how they're going to tie it all in. Well, it just I was never a fan of that particular character, but he's a time traveler. I so, at first I mean, wasn't. I, I liked First Class. First Class first was excellent. Class was a great movie. Did you watch the '90s X-Men cartoon? I watched some of them. So. They tied Bishop into the Days of Future Past okay. thing that they did there. Do you remember those? Ep- it was like a two or three part episode. Hey, it was when Bishop came back for the uh, to get uh, the X Trader. Yeah, to kill Gambit. Yeah, and it was uh, they showed like they kind of integrated both uh, storylines together. Okay. He was like, for the future. <laughs> I know every time you it's, that horrible mullet. That yeah, was a horrible mullet. Yeah, dude. blue hair, blue bluish gray hair on the cartoon. I was not excited about the fact that they were gonna mash them together because I felt first class was its own thing. It could have. I really mm. felt like they should have just said fuck everything and start from scratch. We're gonna build off first class and go from there because I mean that would have been just, good. It would have been smart. I liked first class. First class was good. I had mm-hmm. my inconsistencies with it, but. Like how Havoc was there in nineteen what is it sixty three sixty four whatever yeah, year yeah, place? yeah Cyclops was introduced first yeah, and Cyclops is the older brother yeah. like, see but that, once again that kind of mixing did that is shit me. you should be pissed off about why not stuff like Man of Steel I that one didn't bother me Man of Steel did yeah like the Hank Pym thing the it's, little brother is the big brother born thirty fucking years earlier it's wrong didn't yeah. even didn't even catch it it's wrong and then that stupid fairy bitch. Oh, Angel. Oh, they call her Angel. Whatever. Pixie, Angel, or yeah, fucking Pixie. Angel. Don't even remember it. She spit weird fireballs and stuff. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> she spit. Right? Dragon breath. Totally. That was, that was Balao. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that was Balao. Oh, yeah, I do like the posters for, for Days of Future. Well, the Sentinels look pretty cool. Hmm. The designs look decent. Yeah. It, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. I, see. I mean, it could be a giant clusterfuck. We'll see. Well, Singer's directing it again, right? Yeah. Back to it. The yeah. Oh, wait. I have hope. You know what? This this for me is like time to prove yourself again. Kind of like how Quentin Tarantino fell out of favor for me for many, many years. Mm-hmm. Where I thought everything he did just sucked. And then you made Inglorious Bastards. And, and then eh, Inglorious Bastards, I is liked the Bear Jew. Before <laughs> or after Pulp Fiction, Tarantino? It was after. Okay. It Kill was Kill Bill. Bill. Kill Bill, I thought, fucking horrible pieces of shit, dude. Okay. I felt like he, instead of writing something original, he just said, "Okay, I'm going to take from this movie and this movie and this." But movie that's all. That's a lot of his movie. stuff, though. That's his and, his, um, his tribute stuff. Yeah, but that doesn't make it not suck, though. I mean, the guy can come up with an original idea. Pulp Fiction was an original fucking. That movie work. was the shit. It was amazing. I love that. Reservoir Dogs was an He's amazing like, fucking. Hey, movie. guy, bop. Right? <laughs> it's like, what do you think about this, Marvin? Bop. <laughs> oh damn! I think I just shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> hit a bump! I didn't hit no motherfucking right? bump. It's the best shit. I'm a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> Sam Jackson's the man. Yeah, see, no. see, they should next next uh, Star Wars Quentin Tarantino totally. the Star Wars. Absolutely. <laughs> oh god! No, I'll, but Bass, a person gets their arm cut off with a lightsaber. Is what really did it for me? Yes. He he mm-hmm. came back into my good graces with Jango and Jay. He's silent. Oh, now we're talking about uh, Spider Man. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No? No on the Spider-Man, huh? I First of all, hey, you, let's start on this side. You, now, did you guys like the last Spider-Man? Because I, I completely hated that one. And then and then I saw the shots of Jamie Foxx. I'm like, it's Blue Man Group. What the fuck like am I thing, watching? Boomba. I just like... Yes, you know. <laughs> I liked Amazing Spider-Man. I only liked it because Stop. Spider-Man was yeah. actually cocky and his stuff was funny. They See, got Spider-Man, Peter Parker was complete... It was crap. Yeah, it was crap. He was, he was horrible. <clears throat> Since when was Peter Parker a skateboarding hipster? Yeah. Emo. Man. Emo was, punk. Yeah, right? Was it? Was so. that once again? See, I'm fucking talking like you now because I don't say shit like that. What? Once again? <laughs> uh, you're just goes. taking everyone's stuff. You're taking my truth is. You're taking his. Once again, get your own fucking material. Yeah, I'm gonna get a swollen nut later. <laughs> copying everybody. Here. For real. Um, don't, don't do that. But no. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I was gonna say. <laughs> Spider Man. When, when the Sorry. first Amazing Spider Man came out. Right before it came out, I was totally against it. I didn't like it. I was I was on a wait and see situation type thing. I saw it. I was like, this movie was great. Um, it kept up with the times. We're and talking the new one. Yeah. Ugh. It kept. I mean, it, that's how you should know because you're you just yeah. you finish school. That's how kids in school are nowadays. Yeah, but they don't look like they're fucking thirty. Well, that, yeah. As, I mean, as far that's a casting issue. You can't well, go that, there. That's but I mean, the whole problem with these movies. He found the fucking Lazarus pit, dude. Whatever, man. <laughs> wrong company. Yeah, right. Totally. Oh, wrong fucking universe. This ain't Ra's al Ghul. Well, hey, what 
In Marvel, Rish. what's the fucking thing that turns back? Calls him Rish, by the way. That's his name. Uh, Roz. It's Roz. It's Roz. It's Roz. It's Roz. R A apostrophe S. Roz. Rish. <laughs> That's racist. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking Nolan for you, that prick. No. What were we talking about? Now I got it. Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Any crap <laughs> Spider-Man two that's coming out? Oh yeah, I don't care. I like hey, it first. The only thing I liked about it is when. Because apparently they had a panel about it. Mm-hmm. They said that this one sets up two more. And at first I thought that... Dear they, God! <laughs> hey, at first I thought it was only just going to be like, they're only doing three. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, that was what they originally said. Then they said, uh, yeah. five. And well, then Jamie Foxx just hinted that there may be a Sinister Six. Yeah. Which I'm just like, hey... And they, now they're saying Spider-Man 4 might not really be all about Spider-Man. Oh, well. Because they're trying to do a spider It's going to be Venom Sinister film. Six. <laughs> you know what? I don't see the big fucking Venom. Venom what we the can fuck is here? the big deal with Venom? No, 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 I mean... About, That's a know, podcast I want to do for a later day. We're not sitting Venom. here saying, you know, oh, I didn't like Man of Steel. I didn't like Amazing Spider-Man. I don't like Walking Dead. You guys are all missing the fucking point. It is out there. That's the point. Mm. It's there, whether you're a fan of it or not. It's something that represents the culture that we love. That right, we but you asked if we it. liked it and what we thought, so we answered Right, it. but then again, <laughs> it's like, would you rather have... Well, I already, I can know your answer, and I kind of feel <laughs> where it's going, so let me <laughs> retract this question before I even ask it. But, I mean, seriously, wouldn't you just be glad if you have these people attempting to make a movie as opposed to no, sitting back and No, absolutely like, not. Why the fuck don't they try to some make days, a movie? Some days, some days, with the amount of fucking shit movies and the horrible, pathetic fucking attention that Hollywood puts All right, you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm just happy they're getting the fucking attention for it. I'm going to put you guys on the spot now. Fuck. Three things, and this is Brian only, none of you's answer. Three things you did not like about Amazing Spider-Man. Lizard looked like a Goomba. <laughs> Peter Parker was forty fucking years old, and exactly, John. Well, you liked it. Yeah. Okay, so skip you. Okay, I didn't like the Peter Parker. See, it's going to be generic, but the Peter Parker character. He was a punk. The original Peter Parker character is not even any nerd. of the ones. He was, he was a nerd. well, he was a nerd. He wasn't a punk. You know the way he treated the parents and oh or fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's not Peter. Parker. Hey, Parker. I don't remember that version. Was that like an uncensored version? Yeah, that was exactly that. Like Peter, you know, he, he, he wasn't. Fuck he wasn't. Something. He wasn't the genius. He 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 did. He was he, like fuck you know, stuff, he rice. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and he did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Man. Talk, I'll, I'll give you guys down because that was clever. I couldn't help it, you know. <laughs> you know the the, the whole. Uh, okay, he was, so you didn't like Peter Parker. I didn't like Peter Parker. I think that was uh, the lizard design was terrible. Out of all the designs you could have used, well, it was it was yeah, almost a fucking mushroom. You're talking about a Koopa, you know? No, he's right. No, it was a Goomba. They were Goombas. Goombas. Did you ever watch the original Mario Brothers movie with yeah. John Leguizamo? Oh, yeah, they were good. They I thought were you were just talking about the generic game. Okay, no, now that you no, okay, no, now no, that you no, mention, okay. yeah, now that you mentioned yeah. the movie, the series yeah, I know exactly. Because I, I, I agree with you, but okay, you didn't like Peter Parker. This, the lizard was was a poor the choice, a poor design. Lizard. Yeah, it didn't look like the lizard. But then again, they did say, if I recall, that the progression was still happening. Like okay. he was still transforming. But didn't they kill him before the movie? Yeah, they killed him. Yeah. So, so then he never got the. You might as well just done it then. Right, well, and then again, that's a production Just do call. the damn thing. Okay, and, and, Peter Parker. And, and if you're going to do the Gwen Stacy storyline... Which she was so fucking... Uh, but she, I love him. Well, oh, she was great. But if you're going to do that storyline, really going to kill the dead in the first thing? I mean, it, it was yeah. a progression. I, well, I he didn't... didn't... He does die, but he doesn't die hey, right away. You, you, need, the whole... hey, you need some shock value. But you don't. So he doesn't die before her. He dies before her, doesn't he? Yeah. he no, he dies after her. In the comic, I thought. Oh, no. no, doesn't he die before? No, he dies before. Yeah, because, because he, he tells Peter. Peter. He tells yeah. Peter, take care of my daughter. No. Well, that and the movie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're talking comics. Right, in the yeah. comics, the same thing. Oh, so it was the yeah, it was, the, it was the sin, mm-hmm. the sin eater who shot uh, Captain Stacy, and Pete, Spider-Man took him up to the roof and he unmasked. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, like I knew who you were. Blah blah blah. Take care of my daughter, and like a couple months later, Goblin's like, ah, bitch, I killed you. <laughs> So what, what else came out of CDC worth of shit? Besides Godzilla! Godzilla, CD, yeah. Double C. We've been talking nothing but fucking I movies. Yeah, keep it going. Who cares? Godzilla! <laughs> That's all they've been announcing. Godzilla! I mean, what else? Well, they announced a couple Godzilla. things. Godzilla probably, to me, had one of the best things that they had. I was telling Junior about it. Apparently, like, around the <laughs> convention center, there was an empty warehouse. He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you've been the last 20 minutes. He's been talking. I know he has been. And... Apparently, like, the people that were in charge of, like, promoting the Godzilla thing were like, let's take this fucking warehouse and turn it into, like, an entire Godzilla thing. I know you're talking, you're swearing. 
right? <coughs> so they like rented it out and they turned it into like a Japanese city street with like some like the famous things from the original movies. They had like some ramen shop that was there. I, I'm not really a huge Godzilla Why did I fan. Have noodles when he said that. That's what I, I thought. thought. Like you are you hungry? <laughs> you go see Godzilla. You eat first. <laughs> and you know, basically the entire thing is just like. A living time capsule. You just go around, you see Godzilla throughout the history, and then you get to a point where it's like some top secret military zone. There are actors dressed up in containment suits with Geiger counters, and they take you up to the second floor. The second floor, it's all green screens, and they show like you're in an office building. Building shaking, a shadow walks by, and then up comes Godzilla's eyes. You know, and then Godzilla! 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 Godzilla. <laughs> Holy frock! <laughs> it's Godzilla! Still doesn't tell me anything about the movie, but okay. As it's long as it's better than that atrocious Matthew Bond. Well, that doesn't count. There is no. Yeah. I don't care why you guys hate that movie. Because so much. he was a big fucking iguana. Godzilla's well, not a big iguana, dude. It's not. Godzilla's a fucking dinosaur. And then, and then he, he he hatched a bunch of little baby iguana Godzillas that were like raptors from Jurassic Park. Like original like leftover CGI. Right? <laughs> Let's throw it in Godzilla. It's like, oh, we have this 20 minutes left from fucking Jurassic Park. We're just going to throw it in Godzilla. <laughs> Chase the heads, make them look like iguanas. It's good. No, God, that Godzilla movie was actually, what Jurassic Park movie was it? Where the fucking T-Rex is loose? And, and it's no, like that, was, that was yeah, two. That, that was, was a two? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's that's actually the original, that whole Godzilla movie is actually that original scene. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we need to reshoot Somebody this thought scene. it was like, fuck, we can make this a Godzilla movie. Pretty much. Get Matthew Brown. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Let's move on. Besides fucking movies, because that's all we've been talking about. Huh? So, other than movies, what was announced at San Diego? Yeah, that seems yeah, to be the thing. Well, you know what? We're going to have to save that for... Uh, part two. No, there's not going to be no part two. We're going to save it for a comics remixed episode, because uh, 40 minutes is already pushing uh, our usual half-hour time here. Nice! I mean, we pr- pretty much covered all the big announcements. The big, the big stuff? Well... Okay. The stuff that did anyone care about, for example, the exclusives, the toys? Does anyone? That's a whole other podcast. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, totally. <laughs> As a matter of fact, who knew? <laughs> I, I need. <laughs> I need the, the list. Do this because I paid no attention. I just brought up a website, and really, all it gave me for was movies. CDCC was movies TV. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what it's come down. To. Like who? The last season of you know Sons of Anarchy. With the Game of Thrones panel, where they didn't even give you a preview of Game of Thrones season four, they just gave you a, 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 a memorandum, a, a five minute video of every person that's fucking died in Game of Thrones, which is really kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, so for another issue of uh, the Spinneret, issue seventeen, I'm Big B, Junior, Carrie, John. We are fucking out of here, motherfucker. Yeah, he spoke a lot. Yeah. We'll leave you with that, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.